Hey YouTube, um, I just got some trading cards by now. This is Infinite Draw Archie. Um, this is my first video, like, doing a opening with talking. So yeah, I got some mail from the UK. And, um, two other packages as well. So I'll probably do another one video. First up, we got Nine Towers, Reverse Holo. From the Heart Gold Soul Silver. Arceus Promo. Pikachu promo from Pop 5, I think. I like that card. Heat Rotom from Rising Rivals. It's the last form I needed to have the complete set now. Um, Arceus Level X. It's a promo version. Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Shining Gyarados. Hollow. Torch it, promo, hollow, dark celery, delta species charizard, um, there's a line, you just saw it there, there's a line that goes down, it's not down the card and you can't feel it, it's like in the hollow foil, um, it looks like where the machine goes to the new roll or maybe had an error, um, if any, it's not actually down where the words are. There's no line there, it's just on the actual hollow there and the top. If anyone else has this on their cards, let me know. And um, does it decrease the value or is it okay? It's definitely a real card. At first I thought, what the, what the fuck, you know, is it a fake or something like that? Um, Japanese Jungle Vaporeon. I love that card. I used to have the um, English version but I gave my original cards away um, when he restarted the collector maybe two years ago. Pichu Bros. Gyarados, Delta Species Hollow. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, Mewtwo, Delta Species, also one of my favorites. Um, and then some extras, nothing special. I must have just chucked those in for a little bit of extra flavor. Okay, now for the second package, also from the UK. Oh, uh, this one isn't as exciting as the first. Um, Hollow Leaf Young. Low Trainer Reverse Holo Emporia. Deoxys Reverse Holo. Reverse Holo or Zedra. I don't know why, but it's one of my favorite Pokemon as well, of the newer ones. Espeon. Reverse Holo. Another Emporia and Reverse Holo. Different set. And uh, Nido King Reverse Holo from Delta Species. And now for the final package, it's from the USA. I'm not sure it does this. USPS. This one isn't a uh, Pokemon trading card as such, but if anything, it's more valuable. I've been looking for one of these for a good price, they go for around $80 sometimes. It is the official unused, still attached to the paper, the Eon Ticket. This card allows you to scan in the e-reader, which I have. Um, I'll do another video of all my um, Game Boy and DS Pokemon games. I have every single one from the first series to um, up until Heart Gold Soul Silver, and I'll have Black and White once it's released in English. Yeah, so it's unused, I don't want to take it off there yet, but as you can see, it's actually, it's actually the card there. And it has a um, dot code, which is scanned through the e reader, and then it gives you a ticket to go catch um, Radios and Letius. 
and again go to a special island. Um, not many of these around anymore. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, lastly, I'll show you some fake cards that I got in a huge folder full of different cards. Um, I thought I got a really good bargain because it was like someone's collection they were getting rid of. Um, but it was 100% fakes. Um, this is just a few of them, so I can put them next to a real one. So here is a real Lucky Lucky. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> um, Hollow. See, at C, take note of the boundless power has um, a clause after it which says during your next turn Lucky Lucky can't attack, so you can only use it once and then you miss a turn for attack. Um, and this is the fake. Um, those hollows, like dots and stuff on this, are just printed on. They're not actually foil at all. Um, and notice Bam's power has no cause, so definitely a fake. And also, the back of the card is a way lighter blue to the real card. Level X Glycer, not even hollow, yellow borders, and this is a real one. So yeah, definitely a fake. Also the energies look different. The stars always pick up on the colorless, and yeah, it's not hollow at all, even though the card was released in a hollow with that, those lines printed on it like that. So that's the real one. And that's a fake, it's really bad print. It's like really dark and looks like it came out of someone's bubble jet. Again, it's got like a dollar back on it. And yeah, I'm disputing these currently on PayPal. Um, they're reviewing the case, but hopefully I'll get a refund. And Frost Rodin. And the fake Frost Rodin. Really bad print quality. It looks really dark on the front here, and um, the borders is tiny. Like some this this side, it's really small border on the side, and this side's really big. And yeah, it's not no hollow foil on it at all. And the card was only released with the foil on it. 